One of the key things that was brought out earlier was this idea that Ayurveda really fundamentally operates on the level of consciousness. And um, this research that we're going to present today, uh, I think, really reinforces that. I'd like to begin with a quote from Maharshi, where he had asked about, well, what's happening in the area of genetic engineering and molecular biology? And he says, there is a level where you can accomplish anything. Erase the coding of a gene and create a gene of enlightenment. And it really emphasizes the power of the consciousness modalities as one of the dimensions of Ayurveda. It points out how working on that level of consciousness, we can profoundly affect the, any aspect of our physiology. Whatever state we are in today, when these technologies are applied, we can create a state of balance, integration, and wholeness. Can transcendental meditation increase OJAS level and reprogram our genome and gene expression for longevity? Yes, transcendental meditation can reprogram our DNA. Is that the power of mind can really reprogram our DNA and our epigenome? I just a little bit want to emphasize about what reprogram the genome means. It's actually really our DNA can be simply cut and paste, cut and paste, really. So it can be replaced some error in the DNA. No doubt on that. After 30 years, 40 years of meditating, it really is actually our DNA is rearranged. It's very strong uh, statement, basically, because people said epigenetics. Yes, epigenetics is simpler, actually. That's a little bit a definition of uh, aging according to Ayurveda. According to the Ayurveda text, because of the imbalance of dosas, weakening of Agni, and finally, depletation of Ojas, aging result. And Ojas is said to be the substance which acts the vital power of quantitations of all fundamental principles responsible for sustaining life, regulating balance throughout the physiology. This is from Susrusta Sangita. A beautiful quote from Maharshi. So Maharshi uh, described, experience is the most fundamental truth in one life. Yeah? So it's everything is just come from Ananda, it's sustained in Ananda, and goes back to the Ananda. It's everything is just split. So what is epigenetics? The study of how we can change the expression of our genes without changing the sequence of actual DNA or the genetic code. It's the study of changing genetics without actually touching the gene. Is it possible? Well, if we do not expect the unexpected, we will never find it. Epigenetics, literally, it is lifestyle. Control beyond genetics is a new field of biology that is exploring the effect of the environment on cellular behavior. The environment includes one's physical, social, and electromagnetic environment, as well as beliefs, perceptions, lifestyle, habits, behaviors, and mind-body practices. So where is epigenetics? It is everywhere. Everything we eat, touch, smell, hear, or feel can cause chemical modification in your body that is going to alter our genes. Even how we sleep, how we exercise, how we age will affect how your body transcribes your genes. So ultimately, epigenetics makes us unique. We all are unique in our own way. So is it reversible? Yes. With over 20,000 genes in our body, the different combinations are numerous. With the science of epigenetics, we can begin to map out genes that keep us in a healthy state and eliminate those bad genes that have been plaguing humans over the course of time. What to do epigenetics with Ayurveda? Everything. There is an old saying in Ayurveda that goes, what you see, you become. It's an ancient take on epigenetics. If your environment can change your, change your genetics expression, then it seems wise 
to surround yourself with a healthy environment, rich in peace, love, and joy, rather than stress, violence, and exhaustion. So Ayurveda believes that the origin of disease is rooted in one key phrase, that is forgetting our true nature as spirit.